Firstly, I would like to thank CGS. And really, uh, always I do appreciate uh, my friend Jilur that he organized the politicians who uh, really think for politics and nation and patriotism, not only doing party, not only doing partisan activities. That's why a special thanks to him. And I am really uh, honored to be here as a panel discussant. Though it is very short time to discuss all these things, because po beyond politics is a, is a long subject, and uh, for a uh, field activist politicians, it is really difficult for me. But I will try to be brief. In fact, the political trajectory and uh, the uh, economic trajectories, if we look last 50 years, we will see that never it was very straight. And really it was sometimes uh, ups and downs and complicated, and sometimes it was uh, very risky, and sometimes the uh, future of nation was came to A's, then again we have to be a stand. And still, uh, the patriotic people of the nation is uh, really thinking about the political process, that whether the political process is still that much healthy to contain the uh, multi-political thought, uh, which is the spirit of the democracy. But I, I, I'm sure that everybody will agree that we are on that way, but still we cannot say that uh, we achieved uh, that much political maturity to contain the multi-thought, multi-thinking, multi-participation, yet we cannot yeah. achieve it. And uh, uh, even uh, to define the history, we saw uh, that is the same thing when uh, we are uh, listening our students community, especially the coming generation history from the Awami League dais or from the BNP dais or from the any uh, political philosophy, those who are holding, uh, there is a, uh, sometimes a little bit a different point on the, on the basic points of the history and milestone of the history. So that is very much clear that after 50 years, we did not uh, uh, create that type of consensus in our political process. So uh, beyond politics, uh, when we will uh, discuss on this issue, we have to understand that after 50 years, uh, having a very great heroic political uh, process and political activities, political deed, like our independence war, still we could not have that type of consensus and the political forces is not been institutionalized. That's why it is very easy to make difference between the political parties and the political process and the political forces. And that's why there are sometimes so disastrous situation came in our political history, uh, which we uh, uh, saw in 1975-15th August, and also after that we saw it. Though uh, the part of the politicians, they tried it, and uh, still we are trying. We have parliament. All the political parties are including in, in parliament. With all debate, there is a parliament. Even uh, Bangladesh Nationalist Party, BNP, my party, uh, they have a very, very bitter experience that the uh, 30th December election in 2018, it took place in 29th December night. Having all criticism, still we are in parliament because as a constitutional, as a party of uh, 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 rule of law, as a party of uh, constitutional process, we have to continue this type of institution. But still we could not make in it. Now, uh, uh, this is my uh, approach uh, to the uh, Central, uh, Center for Governance Studies, CGS, that as a uh, center for a study, I look that always uh, CGS tried to make that type of uh, genuine consensus in political process, and the political leaders, uh, uh, they're trying to mobilize, and I do appreciate that there are, all, uh, there are some politicians in Awami League, in BNP, in other political party, they're really thinking about the uh, development of the uh, uh, country, and which is implied that without having consensus in political process, it cannot be achieved. So, uh, uh, like CGS and like the others uh, uh, part, when government is not uh, taking uh, their responsibility to make free all institutions, then this is the only hope, uh, like the uh, non-government organization like CGS, they can take the initiative. It could be the last resource 
of our political process to continue. Otherwise, uh, there will be a disastrous, disastrous scenario we have to face again. So in my conclusion, I must say that uh, this type of initiative when will be taken by uh, organizations like CGS, the politicians in Awami League, politicians in BNP and politicians in other parties, those who mean the interest of the nation, those who mean interest of the country, interest of the people, they should also extend their hand. Because without institutionalization, without having active institution, and without having uh, all the uh, sources is driving for the people, uh, no uh, meaning uh, the independence. And after 50 years, then again, we have to uh, rehabilitate all these things with uh, not satisfaction. Yes, uh, when we are talking about our uh, food sufficiency, when we are talking about our uh, uh, remittance, when we are talking about uh, our garments uh, export income, that is the credit of the agri-economy, agri agri the pigeon class. That is the credit of the uh, government's labor, especially the women's labor. That is the credit of the uh, remittance uh, bearer from the uh, out of the country, near about 10 million. So government or political party or political process cannot claim that this journey is done by only them, rather than it is a very spontaneous journey. And uh, 50th uh, anniversary of our nation, of our independence, it's not only matter of celebration. It is matter of the re-evolution. As a politician, as a political activist, and as a person, as an institution, those who are involved with the future of the nation, future of the country, they must think this is not only the celebration and this is not only the scope to distort the history. It could be accepted, it could be uh, taken as an opportunity to re-evaluate that what the mistake the politicians have done last 15 years and how we, we could repair it and we could make it in future. And from that way, we can uh, have the experience and we can, uh, with celebration, we can have lesson from the uh, 50th uh, experience and the anniversary of our country. And this way, we can pay our regards to the gallant wars holders, we can pay our regards to the martyrs, we can pay our regards to the fathers of nation founding figures. Thank you very much.